What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we've got a very special unboxing. In fact, we've probably got two unboxings, I'll probably just do in one video, so it'll be a very long video today. But one is this, which is considerably light, and one's this, which is considerably light as well. Now I know what both of these are. Um, we're not going to open the first box yet, because this, this is special. I'll, well, they're both special. Sorry if I'm looking. The camera's there, but I'm looking up there because the monitors are and the camera's there. So just ignore it. Um, we've got multiple cameras, as you can see. One. And then just put both that one. So we'll go through that one. So, right. Ugh. I'll put this here and turn the camera. I'm going to unbox it by trusting. Well, my kitchen knife, because I can't fucking find anything else. Cut so then it probably would cut myself. Now this one I've been waiting for for about three fucking months. But fuck it. Finally here. That's all I really give a shit about. That works. Not really secured in, but fuck it, you can hear me. Right, Aha! Right, first one out of the box. Put it here now. Is Doctor Constantine? Now I've never actually had one of these before. Um, well, I've got Doctor Constantine, but I haven't ever had it in one of these packages. This is the first time I've ever had a set in one of these packages so I'm very very happy. Uh, I've got this for free actually which I'm quite quite happy about. Um, nothing really to say about it because it's just Dr. Constantine on his head which I do kind of want to open for that head but at the same time I'm not going to simply because it's meant in box. Literally that is, oh, sorry, the camera's messed up again. If you can see that is mint in box so I, it's going to be on display somewhere then we've got one that i've been probably which i will definitely be opening and that is the remote control paradigm garlic now obviously i don't really want to open this but i'll open it as, as so i can take it out and put it back in with no damage to the box there's some slight damage but for 15 quid i think i got this for 10 maybe um i don't care it's very good um you see it um, so I'll put you on this one. There we go. So yeah, very good. And I'm good. there's one in here that I'm leaving. So until last, so I'll put that up. Put that there. Now the second one that I really want to open, but I'm definitely not going to, is this. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is quite rare. If I'm not mistaken. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. Comes with a sonic screwdriver, which I'm kind of jealous because I do really want to open it. Because I did have that sonic screwdriver. But I lost it when doing some redecorating of the figures and stuff. So yeah. Very happy with this. Very, very, very happy. Sorry, one sec. Just going to move stuff so that you can't see what the next part um, figure is. So I'll put that you there. Take this away. Because the next one... Even though I've been advised from many, many people not to open this, still fucking am. But yeah, this set is absolutely fantastic. I love this figure. Yeah, and now the next one. I've been severely advised to keep this shut. But I can't. I physically can't, in my bones, do that to myself. Because I love this set. I need three out of the four figures in this. It is... Voyage of the Damned gift set. Now, if I'm right in correcting, this could be 
it's not rare rare but it is very it is rare ish um if you go look at the back now i will open this off camera i'm not going to show you because obviously people will end up fucking killing me if because i'm opening this because this is again mint in box can't get in but i'm still doing this because i want all these figures in here not really that one because well we've got so fucking many but the rest i want the heavenly hosts and i want astrid perth people keep on in a lot of doc food things i've been seeing people say perth it's peth p-e double no p-e-t-h but yeah i am fucking so happy about this i'm really yeah i'm so excited you can see on the screen i'm very happy um i'm debating if i will actually i'm to be honest i don't think i will open this but fuck it and since We've got a bit of time to wait until I open the other one, because I'm not opening that yet. We'll open this one, on camera. Um, give me a minute, I'll turn my light off. You can hear the dog in the background. In his cage. He is in the cage for the time being. Just while I do this, because you know, I know what he's like. Oh, bastard. I'll put it on camera in a minute. Go in a bit. Jack. Sorry, bud. Be quiet. No, I, I'm very upset that I'm opening this, but it's just one thing to have. Right, right, don't bend it. Don't bend it, Thomas. Bend it like that so it doesn't fall apart. <sighs> Down there, not to get destroyed. No. These fucking evil wires are the worst things in the world. No, I'll keep these separate because once I've played with this for a bit, I will, un I will tie them and put them back in. Simply because these are good for display. You can see I need to sort the, the top, the top bits out. Um, but, oh, that's, that's why. I'll put you there. Untie you. Why could they just fucking done it with the paper stuff that you, like they do now? For the tardises. I just know for the figures, sir. But, anywho. It's, but this is back in, what, 2010 when they released this? Because, obviously, that's roughly when the... That was the time when we saw the Paradigm Daleks. Um, Victor of the Daleks. And that was one of the last... Last times we ever got to see the Paradigms. Because, if I'm right in saying, they appeared in Asylum. And... What else did they actually appear in? I think they appeared, uh, they appeared in Asylum, they appeared in Pardarka Opens. They were supposed to be featured in The Witch is Familiar, but they were never were because due to people didn't like the paradigms. Which is a bit fucking upsetting because I fucking love them. Um, yeah, we saw this Dalek in Victory of the Daleks, and we never actually saw this Dalek again, if I'm right in saying, because... The ones we were going to see in which, which is familiar, the ones we saw in Asylum were the metallic ones, and obviously we didn't get, we didn't see them in, what, I can't remember what's it called, I keep on, which is familiar, which is strange, which I actually just finished watching this morning, which is a bit of a coincidence, but now I just need to find a body screwdriver, because my room is a pit. Well, not really, I just, I've been doing a bit of resorting my room out. Can't find anything. That's it. I'm not too sure if I can press it on. No, it's not. Tires and metal. I'm so glad I'm not working today. I'm tired. Right. What batteries do they need? Because if, if they're triple A, I'm fucked. Yeah, they're triple A. I think. Yep, they're triple A. Oh, that was fucking lucky. Ish. 
Why can't these sites have fucking batteries with them? Come on. Sell them for like three, four quid extra. I forgot this needed batteries. Yeah, I had some. Keep these on me. I fucking stock up in batteries, mate, because I'm too cheap to get a fucking... I'm too cheap to get, go to the fucking Argos and buy a fucking battery charger. Or one of them things that charges your remote. Get these batteries. Just trying to get these fucking working now. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's the wrong sound first. <laughs> my dad, my dog's gonna have so much fun with this. <laughs> Oi! Num nuts. Right. No time! For the best one. The one I've been waiting for. Actually no. I might do two videos. So I'm going to end this here with Jack saying goodbye. So what I'll do is put it on a second camera. And I'll bring him up. Go back and see Jack over. Right. Oh, look at that. This is Jack. Also known as Captain Jack Harkness. <laughs> He's the one with the ladies. He likes a teddy bear a bit too fucking much. Right, go on. Go in your cage. Come on, I'm Get out later. I'll take you for a walk later. Yeah. So, right. I will do a second video. I will sort this out, edit it, and send it to YouTube. See you guys in the next video. Enjoy. Have a good night or day or wherever you're seeing this. Have a good Halloween. Obviously, no, because I fucking hate Halloween. Alright, see you later. Bye, guys.